good morning uh, it's a pleasure to have professor verma speak to us today on bioplastics as we all know plastic forms a very important uh, component of our use daily and bioplastics is an important area to learn Now, it's a pleasure to have an expert like professor verma explain to us he is from iit madras over to you professor verma good morning to you all to all the students and the participants who are watching this uh, uh, video uh, i would like to take you some of the very very basic things about the bioplastics first the plastics and the bioplastic their uh, how they look like what they are used for how we can problem associated with that bioplastics and how bioplastics will help in different area just like in agriculture pharmaceutical industries and how we can Uh, degrade them so that it should be uh, it should be complete. Just a minute. So, <coughs> can you see my slide now? I'm not yet, sir. Could you share your screen? Can you see my slide, sir? Could you share your screen, sir? Yeah, I did share. Just a minute. Okay. Yeah, can we can see. see it. We can see it now. Go ahead, sir. Okay, good. So, if you see this, this is a. I think most of the children has played these balls in when they are very young. So I'll tell about some of the things here. And what we see basically start from the beginning of the. Uh, the playing age around two or three, every uh, things is made of the plastics basically. The plastic bottles for milking, the toys, you know, the, the some of the playing areas. Uh, everywhere the plastic is there in your life when it starts basically. So <laughs> you can see that the what is the plastic is basically invaded in our life the, the, when, when we start basically uh, our life. when we understand we like to watch them we like to play them and most of them are materials are objects are made of the plastic basically whether they are small or thin as we grow along we can also see that lot of plastic we use we use for every day when we go to the cafeteria when we go to the eat eat re we drink bottle from the plastic bottles we store them and and see every part of your life is really filled up around Uh, rolls around the plastics even the wrapping papers even the food stuff material uh, everywhere uh, you can find the plastic all around that even some of the uh, uh, things are wrapped in the plastic material which are which are as dangerous as the bigger molecule bigger thicker plastics are there you can see them then how we can uh, uh, even the glasses jars mugs you know uh, straw Uh, everything is is basically a plastic and now everybody carries a uh, drinking water which which is in the plastic bottle also okay now when we what we do basically when we go around we don't keep uh, clean our environment we throw the plastic bottle all around and this is one of the pictures you can see in the beach how much plastic we throw in a weekend you uh, know in, in our beaches you know now we can see thousands of you know tons of plastics has been thrown in the environment now this is one of the picture which depicts suppose the 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 growing problem of the, the, the plastic material so what we need to understand that plastic is a very good for use in our day to day life uh, but we need to understand how we can recycle or we can uh, make this plastic material a uh, degradable so that you know it should not harm our environment because it's a very toxic uh, uh, it, it doesn't degrade naturally uh, it takes longer period of time to do that now now you can see here how much plastic is stored in in, in an area uh, one of the garbage storage area you saw in the beach but every day we throw it and it's a piles and tons and tons and tons of plastic were thrown into the uh, as a waste material now if you have that many of waste 
how we are going to sustain our earth by putting this much of plastic as a waste material so we need to think and this is a time our uh, children our society has to develop some way so that we can we can think about the the after effect of this plastic which we are throwing into the atmosphere or the mother earth basically and this is the biggest problem we have it so let's go one by one uh, to the more students what is a plastic because uh, we use plastic everywhere I, i told you in the beginning uh, for storage for drinking for uh, everyday life so the, what is a plastic plastic is a synthetic polymerized man made material that are easy to mold because it has a lot of you know capacity you can you can mold it in different products variety of product different shapes and size basically this is started with the refineries because refinery is best game and we wanted to use that refinery best into the some of the product and that by product of the refinery are basically a plastic material it comes out now second thing is easy to spot them in every corner of our surroundings as you know that you just just walk on the street you'll find the plastic material around you also and i most of the people what they do uh, they eat in some plastic container and throw it when they are traveling and so if you want to go in the train you can see both side of train track you'll find a garbage of tons of plastic material either the food material which is wrap or the plastic material what they use for drinking and other purposes also okay now here is back because the plastic is a versatile in nature it has now become integral part of our life and we can't think about without plastic if you go to the house even your computer body is made of the plastics your mouse is made of the plastics you know your calculator is made of the plastic basically apart from the inside the chips okay. so we play them and we 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 know that there is a plastic material is there okay. why plastic because the plastic has certain uh, characteristics now the plastic is what is characteristic basically is a light in weight they are very light so that the the transportation is very easy for them okay and process thermal and electrical insulation electricity and the heat cannot pass through them they are very bad conductor this in that sense okay <laughs> so and is a durable durable and a long lasting because it cannot be destroyed by nature also very uh, very fast so if you remember collective 50 years back we used to use a lot of you know leaves for making the plates for edible plates and maybe uh, uh, household things also and when you throw it out and uh, within a week you don't find any garbage I mean, uh, leaves uh, there because they are all biodegradable but if you throw the plastic trays uh, after one month you go the plastic trays always there it stay in there so this is the problem because it is not destroyed very fast is durable for a long lasting now here is that what is that this is statistics says 7 billion people are completely depend upon it in order to make their life safer convenient and best you can see the dependability of the plastic material plastic industries and plastic things which we make it now this is the plastic now there are because most of the plastic is synthetic so there is no point of calling them synthetic plastic plastics are synthetic there is no natural plastic in them so what is basically important in simple part as i told you annual production of the plastic in india approximately 5 million tons basically is a flexible resist nature inert and lightweight this is a very important thing because you can you can bend it very easily and it's lightweight most of the if you see this car bodies now the car you drive most of the plastic material outside so they are lighter so so that they are energy efficient so you, you you don't spend too much fuel when you drive that particular car okay now what are the basic ingredient basically uh, from the cellulose cellulose and carbon from the petroleum that's what i was telling you the petroleum by product basically when the uh, industry happened in 70s that the by product was used to make this uh, plastic material okay now growth in the single use plastic estimated to be 
approximately 0.06 million in US dollar in the in the lockdown period. Consumption of the uh, this plastic material uh, five billions and one trillion annually. Basically, you can see that how much plastic we have used uh, we use in our things. Now, why we call it bioplastic? There is a plastic is always something as I told you. Okay, so uh, what is a bioplastic? Bioplastic is basically uh, which are biodegradable in nature in a lesser amount of time. Those plastic are categorized as the bioplastic. Okay, so here is that the drawn of plastic use of immensely used in this one in every aspects of life. Okay, uh, overuse of single-use plastic has led to the global environmental catastrophe. Because when you buy this bottle, drinking water, what happened basically? We use for one year, two year, three year, four year. So basically, and then it is very thick. And you can see that if you keep it carefully, it doesn't change its texture, it doesn't change the color, and it doesn't, you know, it, uh, doesn't do any bad thing to you if it is made of the good plastic, a thick plastic, basically. Okay. So, but if you go to and buy a vegetable, they give you a very uh, thinner uh, plastic bags. So you can use and throw them out. You cannot reuse them because it will torn away with the weight, basically. And that is a problem because single use plastic are very bad. If you are using the plastic, which can be lasted for years, two years, 10 years, which is good, you can store them and reuse them. But a single use of plastic is the basically environmental catastrophe. Okay. So bioplastic is the bio-based plastic, which is biodegradable source. It means it is not made from, from the uh, refineries product. It is made for something which is coming from the nature, means plants, basically, just like a cellulose based. So if you have a cellulose based plastic, it means that cellulose can be degraded in a in an in a, in environment much easier. So that's what they are. The plastic made of the natural material is known as the, when you have artificial material, just like a fossil fuel, a food, fuel, basically byproduct, that is a bad plastic. So it has a limitation and high production cost. If you, if you isolate the material from the plant material, the processing is different and it takes a lot of time and cost has increased. The efficiency of way of degradation of uh, Bioplastic is much easier. You can they can be degraded much faster as compared to the fossil fuel process. So the uh, types of uh, bioplastic material used basically, uh, I can tell you one thing: it's a, uh, basically it's a starch-based corn uh, starch, potato starch, cellulose-based uh, cellulose-based cellulose esters and derivatives, protein-based wheat gluten. Soya protein, milk, and casein, aliphatic polyesters, PHV, PHA, polylactic acids, and biodiverse, uh, bioderived polyethylene ethanol and fermented waste, basically. So you can see them. There are all materials are there, source materials are there from the plant, which we can use them and they can be. So biopolymers refer to the polymer basically containing from organic matter that undergoes degradation. In the environment naturally with the assistance of microorganism and break down into original form. This is a very important because we take the help from the available sources which are able to degrade a big molecule to the small molecule and become a part of the earth or maybe a, a other, other material. So basically what happened during the process of biodegradation is leave carbon dioxide water without producing any toxicant. That's the one thing. If you use a bioplastic, the degradable product, uh, products are not toxic to the environment. And that's the good part. Whereas the, 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 the fuel-based uh, uh, synthetic uh, plastic, the degraded product also a toxic. You can't inhale them. If you inhale them, they, they go and you cannot, uh, they, they create a lot of you know disease uh, into the uh, living organism. They may not live in not only the human, but the animals also, there are nematodes also, others, uh, other animals which are live, they, when they inhale that uh, the product or eat that product, they can uh, develop a disease also. So they, they balance the basically a, a, a kind of a balance in nature. Also, they can be destroyed by that.
now here is that so, so so i have done so far telling about the the natural plastic means which are you can make it from the natural resources just like a, a plants and also from the fuel uh, uh, which is from the fossil fuel food based refineries now what have the drawbacks every plastic has a drawback it cannot treat so starch based plastics are hydrophilic protein based are hygroscopic they can be sensitive to the humidity chemically synthesized but for bioplastic are basically a, a mechanical properties is high basically so here is that the starch based bioplastic has more hydrophilic means water stability high moisture sensitivity and and mechanical properties are basically very high glass transition temperature they can sustain more temperature but protein based bioplastic with a hygroscopic they can they can uh, behave differently when the humidity increases okay they are brittle also stiff and brittle uh, once they are broken they cannot be joined together you know uh, also uh, chemically synthesized bioplastics are mechanical properties i'll tell you later on what are the things are there in that, that. now we have to develop a sustainability means uh, uh, ecological well being apart from the social and economic dimension we need to understand that what kind of plastic is good for our society what plastic can be just like if you take a low grade uh, plastic bottles the chemical known as a phthalate comes out and it's very dangerous it's very toxic to the human being basically and when you drink when you keep that bottle for a long period of the sun and india is a very hot country also you know that uh, approximately 6 month uh, very hot uh, and in south india uh, i think every uh, uh, out of 12 months 10 months are very hot basically so in that this uh, low grade plastic the phthalate comes out leach out from the plastic and goes into the water and when you drink that water it's also very bad so i would suggest them those people who are uh, drinking water they should not eat the uh, uh, water from the water bottle if you are kept for longer period of time those are not good quality uh, bottles basically okay so bioplastic is good uh, because it is a uh, made from the renewable plant feed like the corn starch paper fiber etc eh? and and it doesn't take years to degrade also thousand whereas the normal plastic is take, takes thousands of years to degrade 100% and you can see a lot of you know uh, youtube videos are available from the uh, discovery channel that how the bioplastic has thrown into the sea and still it is not degraded there is keep there in the bottom or maybe floating somewhere else also so we have to compromise with some drawbacks a black bioplastic in order to achieve the sustainability sustainability is the word basically where you can keep a product for longer period of time without uh, uh, damaging the environment and also the making the disturb the balance between the society in, in society basically uh, so as you know the plastic has a lot of problem because uh, increase the global consumption of the plastic major problem is the effective degradation so uh, plastic takes a long time to degrade maybe you know uh, 50 years 100 years sometime also if, if natural plastic that uh, synthetic plastic natural plastic is, is much faster degraded because it has a weight from the plant material uh, which the help i'll tell you about how the bacteria yeast and, and microorganism helping making those things and main thing is that basically uh, if you burn them they uh, the plastic and most of the people uh, i have seen in the northeast that the every evening they'll burn their uh, plastic material outside their houses and it it's really really makes more toxic uh, gases comes out there also the the amount they burn is very small so you don't feel that but but uh, you can see yourself that the tire is made of basically uh, uh, if you burn the tire the, the, the fume comes out is very toxic basically and it can pollute your environment soil water and, and there is a that's make unfit for human survival and that's also leads to the ecological balance so the, the problem plastic is degradability how we can control the or control the degrading part of those things 
So what are the properties of uh, bioplastic that chemical resistance? Uh, bioplastic made from agriculture and food based are chemically resistant to different alkali, acid and salt, but low, low, low values, I mean low pH, are, uh, mild pH, mild acid and salt basically. If you put a, uh, you know, when the pH is very high, you can also get them also. They're also resistant to temperature variations. Uh, they don't go and uh, make their shape. If just like this plastic, if you make in you know, a 20 to 40 degree also, it will not change their shape also. Whereas other uh, low grade, uh, if you increase the temperature, they change their shape also. They can be used for packaging the food material. Do not react easily with the food into their inertness. Nowadays, researchers have been working on the make bioplastic edible with food item or which they use. So this is the different, which I'm not going to talk about that. So what is the durability factor? Bioplastics are more durable than the normal plastic as they are more chemically resistant. And uh, the starch used in production of different bioplastic increase the mechanical resistance and durability. You can see why I'm talking about it. You see the plant, it, it can stand in the, uh, for 100 years. So if you use that material from the plant, uh, the, the, the plastic also can uh, uh, much more in mechanical strength in, and durability also. So bioplastic can be used for a longer time as they made up the renewable sustainable resources. That's where the bioplastic are much better. Okay. Now synthetic of bioplastic, there are so many uh, raw materials are available, uh, agriculture based basically and the food based also. Okay. So uh, basically what happened, the agro based plastic mainly made up cellulose acetate, and a lot of chemical reaction has to be done, which I'm not going to hear there. Um, there are a lot of, you know, you can see that in North India, they, they burn uh, the parali. Parali means that the husk, basically, this husk can be used as making the bioplastic also uh, in that one. And it has been done in Egypt, basically. Uh, ancient crop, basically, you can see. Uh, so we have to just think about how we can recycle the, the natural product and make use of it also. And food waste also we can use uh, environment because food contains from the plant materials and a lot of food material has a cellulose, they have a, a protein, they have a carbohydrate. So process can be developed basically to make that uh, renewable sustainable uh, bioplastic from that also in that one. So how we degrade the plastics? That, so there are so many ways you can. So to degrade a plastic, the first thing is that, that any plastic you have to break, break it in small pieces so that the, uh, the chemicals or the bacteria or the yeast can go penetrate into the every part of the uh, plastic environment. So there are mechanical degradation, the chemical degradation, and then the biodegradation, the composite of the plastic, and or we call it natural degradation basically. So I'll tell about what is difference of biodegradation and the natural degradation, just like composting the uh, things out also. So degradation basically, this is the chemical degradation and physical degradation. You can do photo, uh, photo means you can put on the heat or from the light, uh, uh, the light rays comes, it, it breaks the bonds. Okay, and then the smaller molecules are created and they can be degraded also. That's our process of degradation. Uh, so hydrolysis and oxidation means instead of oxygen and the, in the, in the oxidation means the uh, presence of oxygen, the biological and chemical degradation happens. Mechanical degradation means that you use some force to, to make the small pieces basically. So here is a mechanical degradation. You can have a two rolling bottle here in this one and you can put a big plastic and it can degrade into the powder form also. And this is the one way because once you make a powder, you can use this, this chemical degradation into that one. So what we do basically, you can heat them a lot. So by heating them, the, the molecule separate out and then goes easy for access for the other molecule to react and make it things. So mechanical uh, method of degradation is anaerobic degradation, aerobic degradation, vermicomposting. So once you make a small particles of those things, then you can put on a, in a soil. So it, then what happens there are some uh, things happen, disposed. So bioplastic with the oxygen you put you increase the oxygen concentration in that particular uh, mass of the degraded plastic and there's a lot of reaction happening. Uh, uh, you can share this, I will share this slide to all of you, you can look at it. Uh, and then this, uh, they can degrade into the smallest small, they can produce the heat also. There are certain carbon dioxide produced 
Uh, ammonia is also produced, methane is also produced. Okay, all the kind of what is the constituents of this bioplastic, they are degraded into the smaller entity with over the time, basically. And so basically, this anaerobic means without adding any oxygen. But if you can pump with some oxygen also, in oxygen also, you can increase the uh, uh, degradation much faster, basically. Okay. Then what happened? They say composting. Composting, you must have read in your, uh, when you were uh, very uh, in the fifth, sixth straight that uh, you put you, the, the material or the, the waste into some of the pit, the worms comes and this worms, they, they, they chew, the, 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 chew the material and they make it a very small, small particle. And then the gas are produced and organic, and then the compost is formed. So it is a basically a microbial population is available, which degrades the organic matter basically. Okay. So uh, the bioplastic basically are mixed with the, some of the added bacteria, some of the added uh, molecule, uh, yeast, and uh, ferment them, and then can also be degraded. Things all that. So basically, uh, the different mechanical method to use the degrade plastic basically. Uh, this is the, the material plastic. You can see the anaerobic degradation, vermicomposting basically. The worms basically are anaerobic without those things, and then. What is the final product comes? Heat, biofertilizer, energy, and biofuel. So this is the way we have to develop. Although this is the way it looks very good in, in, a, in, a, in a, when you are presenting the work, but real field, it is not as easy to do that. It takes long period of time, basically. Even you do the natural aerobic decision, anaerobic degradation, it takes years. Maybe sometimes 10 years, 20 years, that depend upon the plastic. So basically what happened, <laughs> recycle plant, what they do basically, uh, they, they make granules in this one. These granules basically, you can reuse them to make a product directly in the, that one. Okay. So this is very nice thing to collect. See, you, you want to dispose, they collect in the recycle, sort it. Sort means that depend upon their, their, their uh, type of the plastic, the sort is. And then the recycled plants are available. They make a small granules, make a product also, and for the energy also. So this all the work is going on these days. So the fragmentation, mineralization, these are the steps happen basically in those things. Complex polymer gets depolymerized, convert into simpler monoforms, and then the enzyme digestion happens, and then the microbes comes and do that uh, in that one. So everything is interrelated. It is not that the only one thing happened in that thing. Then what happened basically mineralization happened, natural recycling happening in those. So main thing idea about these steps to tell them, see, I'm not going to detail of the whole things, but as a, as a young students, you must understand that the uh, degradation of the plastic is a, is a bigger problem these days, basically. You can do a lot of things. So there is thermal degradation, chemical, mechanical, photo degradation is there. But finally, what happened? The polymer has to be degraded and mineralization and release of carbon dioxide, nitrogen. All the constituents are in the gaseous forms or some of the byproduct form should be done in that one. But this, this is our goal basically in, in the future. But what happened basically? It takes longer time. So the main thing is that the recycling is the best option for them. The photo degradation, thermal biodegradation, this all takes time. I'm, I'm giving again and again. Uh, emphasizing the same thing that it can occur at different forms also. So here is that. So what is the important thing is that for degrading the thing, sunlight, the important step, because as a natural uh, things, where the plastics are exposed, if they are, uh, so what happened basically, it increases the uh, capacity for sunlight to penetrate them slowly and then degrade the plastic naturally. But it cannot be done uh, along the sunlight. What we can do with either a big plastic material, we can make them in small fragments where the, and exposed to the sunlight, that can also we can be done basically. So basically what happened, the sunlight is basically a, a natural source we can use for making this plastic material to degrade as, as, as possible 
by adding some of the steps in, 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 in doing that. As I was telling, the biodegradation is a natural process and it takes uh, uh, organic matter into the simpler components in a microorganism. When a bio comes, it doesn't come basically, it means some biological entity, either the, uh, the, the bacteria, either the algae or the fungi, they can come uh, and help them because they can use some of the ingredient as their source for energy. So when they are a small pieces of it, they can chew them and then what happens? They can survive all those molecules and then slowly and slowly they will choose a whole plastic and convert into the some other form basically. And that's how they can control them, help them basically. So we have a surface colony. So what happened basically? So if you want to keep a plastic, you, you dump in some area where the large number of microbes are present in that one. Or you can put a spray those bacteria on the surface of the molecule also to increase the, the effectiveness of a degradation also. We can use the enzymes also. These enzymes also can be secreted by these microorganisms also. And we can use the purified enzyme also, but the cost will be much more uh, doing those processes. So, but we, we, what is the idea about this thing? We use the bacteria, yeast, enzyme together. So the, the process can be increased by degradation process. And you can see here, uh, what is the best basically, the final thing is comes the plastic material that we have to produce the gas. Maybe the carbon dioxide, maybe the water, maybe the uh, methane and other things. So we can use them in that one. So step by biodegradation process mediated by microorganism is possible to denature complete by polymer basically. This process here is more, more efficacious because we are using the help of these uh, biological material molecules basically in, in this process. And then use for the energy sources also we can use. So this is the uh, slides basically what are the different kind of bacteria you can use that if the bio bioplastic is made of different material PCL, PLA, polylactic acid, caproelectron, you know, all kind of things. So uh, depending on Depending upon the, the, the material that we use to make in the plastic, we can use other bacteria also. So a lot of research has been done to increase uh, the, the, the biodegradation uh, of these polymers using the uh, naturally occurring uh, molecules or uh, the, the flora and fauna, either fungi, yeast are available in, in, in the nature basically. So this is important. So what are the bacteria, pseudomonas and streptomycin, uh, mices, uh, these are from the marine water, they come uh, and then you can use degrade uh, polyethylene, polyurethane, PCL, polycaprolactone basically and polyvalent chloride also. Um, bacillus which are ubiquitous signature, they can, they can degrade the uh, polycaprolactone, polyurethane. Then estetococcus from the soil and water are telling this in the polyethylene e efficiency also, polyethylene effectively also. So, so the, what happened, the research has been done to find out not only the bacteria but algae. Algae is a tremendous source of, you know, algae is a bigger molecule than the bacteria. You can grow much faster. Uh, you need a little bit of water molecule or humidity in that one. So, enabina is one of them. These are different chlorella from the nutrient uh, acid water, uh, rinsified water basically, make that aspergillus nigris, penicillin found in the salty water kind of penicillinium and the, and the the fusarium and, and other uh, things are available which can degrade. So in nature, there are biological entities are there which can use this plastic, but they cannot, they, they can, you have to make available this plastic to them only, either by uh, manually or you grow on top of the plastic. So what you can do, you can make a container where you can fill the particle, you can make a small pieces and then put these bacteria or yeast or fungi into that one wait for at least you know few years to degrade them and then do it naturally with the sunlight the help of sunlight. So here is that uh, the microorganism secrete I, as I tell you you have to make a different different uh, because microorganisms secrete uh, different enzymes also along with that and the polymers are degraded and microorganisms also degrade those polymers. So that's what the bioplastic even the natural compounds are there these enzymes and these bacteria work much faster compared to the uh, synthetic uh, polymer.
So that's what the, the whatever the biopolymers are there. Poly, biopolymers means the polymers which are present in biological material in, in a different in, in concentration in that in, in a small way I can tell you. So these are uh, decomposition cycle and naturally basically the trees goes in the soil, leaf comes out, leaves goes, the bacteria or uh, animals uh, or small molecule eats and then organically the soil become more organic. Again, the fungus comes but it can grow. So this is the natural liquid decomposition. We live in that environment. But these are all natural. But if you are adding instead of green leaves, you are putting the plastic there, which are degraded for a long period of time. Here you can see every year, uh, all the leaves which are fallen from the ground, you don't find next year. And within a month, all, plastic, all leaves are gone. Because they are so biodegradable in terms of the water, humidity, and the bacteria which are present in the soil, they degrade immediately in that process. Okay. So this is the one thing is there, that we are sustaining a kind of balance in nature by giving the food into the uh, small uh, molecules, just like a nematode, maybe you know, uh, worms basically, which are present in the, in the soil and also the bacteria and yeast also, they grow on those products. So if we can able to mimic the same thing for the, the plastic material also, we can make them. So if you are making any bioplastics from these molecules, they can be also degraded much faster. So that the message is there for the here, the students, that we should make a system, sustainable system in the environment by using, uh, making the plastic material from the natural things in that process. You can see here how we can grow, control bacteria, that three day bacteria, 14 day bacteria, how fast they can grow. So if, if you are providing a particular uh, material where they, so you can see here that this is a plastic seed, few bacteria is there. Now the bacteria can eating them and growing faster in three days. In 14 days, bacteria population is increased. There is no plastic left in that. So if you are making a plastic from the natural resources, they can be degraded much faster. And then when bacteria don't have food, they will also die. So it's a, the cycle is there. When the food is there, bacteria multiply. When the food is not there, bacteria don't multiply in that one. So this picture clearly indicates that using a material from the natural resources uh, for plastic material, for making the plastic things, is much more sustainable in the environment than making them. Other things also. So, you know, making a this is a life cycle of the bioplastic. Uh, I'm not going to detail about thing. I've talked about these things again also. You can make any product uh, which you want to do that. But if you're making from the these products somehow from a source material which are natural source, it is very feasible, and we can we can really really uh, uh, make a balance into the environment. Also. So, bioplastic towards the sustainability, I will tell you a few things about the uh, need for bioplastic, just like we need a pharmaceutical. In every drug is, is basically sealing material, packaging material. It's be should be made in such a way that all the small uses, but in a, in a bulk it is much more. So, in pharmaceutical, the bioplastic can help you reduce uh, reliance on the fossil fuel support sustainability, industry, biodegradable plastics, and packaging device material, natural subject, and degrade in the environment much faster by the microbes, improvement of the packaging by natural responsibility, so the sustainability can be created. And normal packaging degrades takes around 100 years, and the, 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 the plastic which are making from the natural resources, it makes in 10 years also. So you can see, we can reduce by tenfold uh, uh, the, the plastic degradation in this. So again thing, you know, uh, so we have to balance and these are the different, because these, the products are, uh, the degradable products are basically less toxic so that it will help you the environment and easily uh, incinerated and uh, compose and uh, recycle, vermicomposition is possible in that one. Uh, cost of the, of course, there is a, some bad point as there that when you're making from the natural resources, the cost is very high. Uh, Tremendous suppressed contaminated material, reason of soil erosion, all kinds of things are there, you know. So, although the cost is more, 
but the benefit is more. So we have to balance what we call the cost or the balance, basically, in this one. In horticulture, also, basically, a lot of pesticides, irrigated water, we are used, basically. Uh, predators, herbicides, and plant pathogen killing the insect, basically. So if you are using a, most of the thing, this one, a decrease in temperature, I think. The plastic cars basically are used in gardening, vegetable, promoting responsibility, environmental. So our thing is there. You can see that most of the time the flowers are wrapped in the plastic and present in the bouquet. Where the plastic goes basically in this one. Okay. So that is very important. So what happened here? I am saying about the particular mulching. Mulching is nothing. You are cutting this plastic into very small pieces so that they can be decomposed. In much faster, you know, you, you have to increase the humidity by drip irrigation, okay, and propagation in nursery. So what happens, these, whatever the bacteria thing that they can chew in small pieces and when you put in the plant, they can use as a source for nutrition also. That is also, and also this soil should be having in the solar is there. There's a lot of things, you know, you can think about how we can do that. I think this is the final couple of slides up there. You know, uh, reduce, recycle, renew purpose, and reuse. And this is the message I'm giving you that use the bioplastic in such a way that can you know, reduce the dependent, dependency of the low cost, uh, low, uh, low cost or uh, plastics. Use the uh, good quality of plastic. Plastic should be made from the natural resources. All the cost is more, but you can keep it for longer period of time. You recycle them so you can make it uh, plastic uh, into the different packaging material or maybe toys or maybe some other material you can reuse them renew purpose obtained from the renewable resources and new from the another purpose and use over and over again involve user just like if you buy a one plastic bottle like this you can use for 10 years you don't have to use the throw well, one use plastic i think we should avoid them also in that process. So here is basically the toxicity of the human. I was telling about that. It's very important. Now you can see when you have a plastic material and you, you are somehow inhaling some of the molecules which are constituents of the plastic material, it can help. I mean, you can uh, really, really make a lot of diseases in just like GI disease, heart, can in lungs you can go. It can extend into the stomachs basically. Liver can be dysfunction. And you can also go to the, if the, those fumes or molecule goes to the brain, then also have much problem. So in, in, in conclusion, basically, sorry. in conclusion, microorganisms have immense contributed to the biodegradation, the inbuilt mechanism for just like a, uh, they secrete some of the enzymes, uh, which can cleave the polymer completely. Another sustainable solution to reduce the plastic generation of the bioplastic which are biodegradable plastic and produced from renewable resources. What is a renewable resources means? That from the naturally occurring resources. Bioplastic can either produce from agro waste using some chemical treatment and also eco-friendly biofilm that can be used for its applications. Eco-cordial packaging material can we can use it. Pharmaceutical industry, we can use less toxic material, use the bioplastic in that one. The cost a little bit improved. Uh, it will increase, but at least we can use for longer period of time. Overall, the idea was using the good kind of politics improve the quality of the life because if we not use the uh, good quality of the plastics uh, or so that we can we can reduce the health results also in that. One. So all the research is basically is going on uh, for achievement of the technologies to become more efficient ways of pharmaceutical packaging to reduce cost of bioplastic decrease the harmful elements and the devastating state of human health and environment. The fundamental thing is that the, the, our surrounding has to be clean. If, if the plastic are thrown, which I showed you in the beginning, um, uh, with the solar, everything, there's some small gases, something comes out and you are walking on a beach, walking on the, in the, those uh, contaminated area, you can inhale those uh, in your body and create a, a kind of a, a disease or your health can be compromised. Thank you all. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, sir, we'll just pause for uh, a couple of minutes now.
Yes, uh, uh, participants, as always, if you could just fill in the feedback form, I will I will pause for about one minute for that. Mm -hmm. uh, only one, uh, very few questions this time around. Sure. Uh, in a minute's time, uh, we will uh, we will paste the uh, the question question and answer form as well, so that you can ask your questions directly to uh, Dr. Varma. Participants, uh, please note, I have uh, pasted the Q&A form as well, uh, the Google form. You can ask your questions directly now. Uh, uh, you, um, as you ask, I will, uh, I will share my screen, uh, Professor Verma, so that you can see the questions. Yeah, sure. Participants, you can ask, the, ask your questions in the form. It's been pasted in the chat box the YouTube link as well as Zoom. Thank you. Professor Verma, can you see my screen? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, this is a rather long question. I'd appreciate if you can just read it out as you answer it before yeah, you answer. Yeah. Thank you. See, the question is sustainability is the key. So do we so do we take into account of the cultivation of corn in case of bio waste is not adequate, which require water, chemical, fertilizer, electricity for factory, especially to have a profitable, profitable business, etc or deforestation, water required for the biodegradation, does it tally? I mean, do we foresee a downside of this solution? I think plastic with all this undeniable advantage across field, we are today in a situation to solve the problem it has caused. So we do clearly foresee at least a minimum impact taking into account the complete life cycle of this product, this versus this sourcing material, land use, Manufacture union, profitable marketing, or recycling is a ultimate impact, or it just buy for the best alternative is still interfering with natural recycling or land. I think it's a very good question. So I'm 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 glad somebody has uh, asked this question. See, definitely we are interfering with the natural recycling of our plant, no doubt about it. But you know, uh, when when the the fossil fuel industry has come. When there's uh, uh, this, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the petroleum industry has come basically. A lot of waste material has come. So the scientists thought, what would do the waste, waste material? And they started thinking, and after that, they started something which can use that thing. So basically, when they were doing it, they never thought that when making this plastic material will create that problem after 10 years. 
So what they did basically, uh, now the invention which happened 30, 40 years back, now we are feeling consequences. Now, if the consequences come, the problem arise, now we, have, we are solving the problem also. Now, when the problem comes, then only the solution will come. We should not deforest. We should not, uh, it doesn't mean that we should not uh, uh, fell the trees. If we are making a dam for agriculture purpose, because of our population increasing, we need to do that. But we have to see somehow that we make these kind of things in a sustainable manner. This is the key. Sustainable means it doesn't mean that you cannot destroy anything because our demands are growing. So if you cut one tree, you put 10 trees also in some areas. We develop a technology in such a way that desert can be given the forest areas. Sustainable doesn't mean that we have to do something to, to destroy the things. Somehow we have to balance. So profit will be there, cost will also be there. But make it, if you are paying, if you are buying a one cup every month or every day, two rupees, it's cost you 60, 60 rupees in a, in a one month time. If you make a 60 rupees bottle at one time, the, the, the waste material which you are making it at 30 days of buying is really a, a, one use material, it will be much less. So you think about that thing. So uh, think about the educating the people is the most important thing. Making, see the environment should not be destroyed. We have to keep our cleanness. We have to, if we are living a clean, our the health hazards will be reduced. So the, the burden of the society, of the government which are spending on the healthcare will be reduced and we can enjoy a life. And that's basically a cycle, life cycle and sustainability. So what is the span required for biomass to degrade? Uh, as I told you, approximately eight to 10 years, a uh, minimum, uh, 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 this required basically biomass. Because you have to somehow throw in some areas where you can, a lot of bacteria is available, or you can cultivate bacteria and throw in. Yeast should be available. Uh, the, the enough sunlight is there to degrade them, and also not habitated area also. So the, the gas which are emitted during the uh, degradation, it should not affect the population also in that area. Is it, the third question is that it's possible to bond molecule that make a plastic to compound or molecule that degrade faster than regular. I think this is a research is required to do that. I mean, uh, because these are all polymers. So how, because if you have a few polymers, the mechanical strength may not be there. Sheets may not be there. So you have to make it, Serial and then sheets on top of each other. Definitely, the polymer can uh, the, the bonded polymer can be designed in such a way they can increase the uh, mechanical strength, so you can use for a longer period of time. Also, it can be degraded, so the bonding can be. That's a chemistry point. I'm not expert on chemistry, but that's I can think about. That. Next question. What was that? Can I share the slides, please? How do you identify the bacteria degrade with plastic? It's a very simple thing. What you do is basically you take a bag, uh, you, you take a bag, uh, any plastic material, uh, mechanically you make it small, and then uh, bacteria population is too much. So every you make a hundred dish, basically just like after a small scale, and then each bacteria separately you put it there, and also combine combination of bacteria also put in few uh, dish, and see uh, how much time it takes to degrade either by microscopically or by lifting the, the, the particles basically and see become a liquid in, in um, kind of things. So there are methods are available by which we can identify bacteria. So the, then we can see how many days it takes with one bacteria or in a combination of two, three bacteria also. That's how we, we, we do it. And a small scale in battery is something like that. If you are able to manage the plastic, which can we use the product in the large quantities? Uh, uh, see, we cannot manage the plastic waste. As long as the plastic waste is managed, how? That's the problem because the, the, the waste, but plastic material waste is a different varieties. Some are very hard, some are very uh, thin, some are one, one side use, some are the way. Just like if you have a car and you have uh, after 10 years, the car material 
approximately 50 kg of plums like that. And that is made of a very, very hard plastics. It degrades with a lot of time. It will take. So definitely in a, we can use in a large quantity because if you're able to manage the plastic, yes, yeah, definitely, yes, you can do it. So in Singapore, they burn all the waste. I was telling you, Northeast also, they burn and convert. So uh, definitely, yes, uh, the, the bio resources, our energy resources is one of the things which we have to develop in our country. Also, Singapore is a very small country, you know. So the waste, waste material, waste, uh, plastic waste is not all that large compared to India, Brazil, or Argentina, or America, and a lot of, you know, tons of biomaterials, uh, sorry, bioplast, plastic is disposing that. So definitely you need to develop those kind of a, uh, a industry where we can even burn this plastic and make convert it to electricity. It's a good method uh, to waste for waste management. Yes. I think that's all the question we have here. For now, uh, I'll just wait. I'll see, sir, if anything else comes up, I will. Yes, I'll yes, 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 yes. I'm here only. Yeah, there is, there is another question, sir. Just hold on. Is there any catalyst which can fasten the process of... Uh, uh, there is no catalytic reaction, basically, uh, because whatever the enzymes are used, basically, if enzyme is some uh, catalyst dependent, such like a some of the metals, definitely we can add the metal and we can uh, increase the rate of conversion basically. So yes, if you, if you, if you have know the, the, the enzymes which require some small molecule, a small catalytic process, yes, we can increase it. Yeah, but again, the cost will increase a lot. So we have to uh, develop a method where we, we use a very less uh, low cost bioconversion kind of conversion Approximately one third of India's agriculture produce is discarded as a waste in various stages. Chemicals some in the soil in the form of fertilizer and pesticides. Can organic farming produce the desired material for manufacture bioplastic without depleting the soil? Yes, this is the one thing. That's what I was telling you. So if you see, in, in a, uh, the husk is burned basically uh, in, a, in a northern part of India. Uh, tons and tons of, you know, and so you produce a lot of our gases and the black uh, smoke and which can people in, can come to the, when you breathe those things, that comes to your uh, toxic material comes to you in your body and it creates health. So basically we need to develop and Indian agriculture research institute has developed some of the chemicals or some of the, so that you can convert these things into the smaller molecules, which are, because this husk is a natural product. Okay, you have to increase the catalytic activity of some of these things which can break the bonds basically. And they have developed already in that one. And after some time, and uh, the, the, what is the husk can be converted into the, the small molecules and it, it become a, a bioavailable to act as a fertilizer to the soil also. This is a basically sustainable product, sustainable way of, you know, using the, the material which are agriculture based into the waste. Or we can maze these things the plastic material also in that. You remember in, in, in old days we have baskets from the plant material and the basket as you are transporting the thing one place to another, which is the fishermen use those baskets also. The plastic comes later on, but these baskets were basically naturally degraded. You can use and throw also within a few, few months, the old things are degraded because they are coming from the plant material. So definitely we have to develop a little bit better uh, durable product from those materials I think combining with some organic molecules or some of the things you blend together and so the 50% is synthetic, 50% is good. It's a natural material that also one possible. Sir, just with one more question, sir. Sure. So, uh, the question comes, is there any way to decompose manually or there are any scope for such technology in the future? Of course, yes. Uh, decomposition is basically breaking a bond is a chemical process. Okay, the biological entity also 
they they produce some of the enzymes uh, which can cleave that bond and that bonding uh, is basically is a, is a time bound so if you have a 20 molecules you can't do you have to increase the com uh, composition also but manually by increasing the concentration of those material or biological uh, enzymes or uh, with the add of the solar energy or uh, with the add of the metal ions yes we can increase the fasten uh, some of the reaction process so manually yes we can manipulate the biodegradation little bit uh, more faster than natural way it can be possible so there's one more question sure If we can turn all the agro waste into the bioplastic waste and cellulose in the polymer found in the plant, will it satisfy the need for population as large as ours? So we do. We do have to cultivate more plants to produce packaging material. Uh, I don't know, but we have to do the the mathematics on those things. How much we require, how much we produce, and what is the waste is there? Because even the converting waste in the bioplastic, it takes time. It, it cannot be done immediately. Also, so probably yes. Uh, if we have uh, those data with us, then we can think about how much we have to produce for packaging material, how much we require. Then only we can think about how how these agro waste can be used in that. Yes, but we need a data to that. Are these properties of the bioplastic equal to those of conventional plastics? Yes. See, any plastic need two things. Mechanical strength is very important. Second thing that you can mold it in different ways, and both can be done in a synthetic plastic also in the bioplastic. So property wise, both are same. Only the degradation is different. Okay. Uh, sir, looks like that's it, sir. Okay. Uh, Money, sir, over to you. thank you very much professor verma it was a wonderful talk very informative very useful and uh, i'm sure there will be many people who would be interested in finding out more again once more thank you very much for this wonderful talk thank you thank you mani i think i i'm very happy that nasi nasi has given us great fun to to share our some of the research with the students uh, sure. that is i'm really very thrilled to do that uh, and if any question you can go to my web a uh, website in iit and you can ask me question any time you can write email and i will try to answer them very good thank you thank you okay uh, uh i think we will meet only after diwali happy diwali for all of you and uh, stay safe bye happy holidays bye 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 thank you thank you prabhu varma thank you thank you so thanks anand again for all the great help you have been providing Yes, yeah, thank and you. thanks, Narayan, for being around. And just to see that, in, uh, if there are any eventualities, you will be 